What's up, YouTube? It's Michael. Uh, I'm here with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing a project I've been working on the last couple of days, um, and it's called SEO Heist. So if you're not familiar with SEO, it's basically search engine optimization. It's how uh, Google sort of ranks websites. And I saw a very interesting uh, tweet thread um, not too long ago. Let me pull it up if I have it here uh, by this gentleman by the name of Jake. And essentially what he was talking about is how he pulled off an SEO heist and uh, took 3.5, 3.6 million total traffic from a competitor. Um, and he breaks down how he uh, does it. So essentially how it works is, well, first you find a competitor um, and then you find their uh, sitemap, which is a dot XML. Um, and then you extract the blog posts of the dot XML um, using GPT, using chat GPT, you convert. Uh, the blog post URLs into titles, those titles into blog posts, and then you upload that to your website. Now, um, it can be a tedious task. There are tools to help you do these things. Uh, and even Jake mentioned some tools, um, and I'm pretty sure he promotes his own tool. But I wanted a fully automated process. Um, so I decided to build one. And I kind of wanted to show you the architecture behind it. It's fairly simple. Um, there were some things I, I was stuck with, but you know, the power of uh, GBT and asking the right questions, I got it done. So essentially how it works is uh, this is the user flow. So user will submit a sitemap, um, something like this, for example. So if I, I can go here on the, on the website and I'll just submit, let's say a sitemap. So this website slash sitemap.xml. And if I go to this URL, I would see something like this, right? So you can see they have a ton of blog posts and essentially what step one is it, you submit the sitemap to the website and it extracts the titles from the XML It extracts the titles. And before it does anything else, because this could be a costly process, depending on how many blog posts, um, you'll be generating the app will show the user how much this could potentially cost, right? So website calculates how much it would cost to do the heist. And then the user has a chance to accept it. You can either just not respond and by not responding, it's you saying no, but there's a prompt. It's if you click yes, then the process will begin. So what will happen is it will pass these titles to GBT and then GBT four will generate, uh, you know, SEO friendly blog titles and posts. Now this takes some time depending on how many blog posts, um, the website generates based on how many blogs the competitor website has right after all that data is generated it is passed to uh the website the website sends it to the user currently i send it through like a i think a csv file um via email i'm still trying to figure out a way the to best send the the information to a user but that's kind of the uh architecture behind it and i'll show you a quick look right now how this works so yeah, you just enter the URL, the name, like if you want to give it a specific name and then an email so you can get sent the file after. And then you can also access some of the successful heists you've had. Here's just a tweet, uh, the access to the tweet to read more about it. Um, and because again, it, 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 these, you know, heists can be costly generating these blog posts can be costly. I developed a credit system where, um, you can top up credits. So let's say, actually, why don't we just do a real life? example. So let's say, let's say I wanted to do a heist right now. So I'll put this URL in and then I'll just call it my name and then put email. So when I click convert this, uh, toast pops up. So it says it costs the cost to complete this height is 18 cents. Would you like, to, would you like to start it? I have $42 in credit. So if I click start heist, so it says, let the website cook. And then you see the button reloading here and the way the, um, let me move my camera here. The way the credit system works is I, I basically developed this in next JS. Um, you can click on it, top up credits. It'll take you to a, a Stripe checkout page. You can enter how many credits you want and top up very simple. Um, we can get in the, into the code in a bit, but let's look a little bit. Uh, let's look at the code a little bit. I won't be uh, coding with you, but I'll show you, uh, what is, uh, being done here. So. I have a simple uh, page.tsx um, server component. Um, and then really where all the action happens is an XML form. I do have a simple on submit. I'm using React hook form for the forms, a really great package to do your forms. You could see right here, I have form, ref as form. 
on submit handle submit so that's where all the uh, computation happens and then I just have again it's a simple form um, so this is where all the action happens on the on submit so I have a function called convert XML to CSV which essentially does the cost analysis so it'll calculate how much it would cost for me to use GPT's API and essentially what I do here is I'm using uh, convert uh, convert CSV to convert the XML to CSV and then there's this function, yes, calculate estimated cost. Now, I'm not going to lie. I, I use ChatGPT for this, right? I wasn't going to bother doing the math. I use ChatGPT for it. It's pretty accurate. So once this function runs, it gives me how much the how much um, it could cost. So that's why I have if response dot cost, a toast is sent, and it basically says cost calculation is done. This is how much it'll cost. Now there is an action step. So if... I can click on this. So when I click on this, the first thing it checks is if the number of credits I have are greater than how much it costs, I can then start the heist, which is why this function start heist runs. But if it's not, it's going to tell me, um, you know, lack of credits. I don't have enough credits. And I basically um, have a database on Superbase that will uh, keep track of people paying for credits, using their credits and all that type of stuff. All that is stored. Uh, on the database now i don't just check this on the front end uh because when we go to start heist uh i do have a server action and in the server action i also double check because you don't you don't only want to validate on the front end but also on the back end um and then again converts the urls to titles i have a function here that uses gpt right here just a simple uh, prompt um and then like uh i write the, the fact that i use the credits um, into the database, then I convert, I use the titles to write the blog post, which is this function right here, generate blog posts. And then you can see it right here, console log it just to see, you can see that I have a heist going on right now. And then I use Vercel blob to just store uh, the CSV or the JSON and the JSON files. And then you get um, an email saying it is pretty much done. It, it is pretty much done. One thing that I do want to add to the site is I'm still working on how is it that I would share the data of the blog post with the end user. And the second thing is I would like to have some sort of um, serverless function or like a Cloudflare worker so that even if someone does close the page that the heist is still going on. But that's pretty much it. That's a cool little side project I'm working on. I, I genuinely do want to turn this to a product, maybe do product hunt as well. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you enjoy videos like this where I just share projects I'm working working on and sort of uh, the technology behind it. My name is Michael Shamelis. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.